Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to measure to the nearest half inch using a ruler. Let's jump right into our examples, starting with number one, where we need to measure the length of the orange bar. Now here we have a 12 inch ruler, so one foot, and each inch is marked along the ruler. We have the zero mark where we start our measurements, then one inch, two inches, three inches, up to 12 inches. Now notice we have the left end of the orange bar lined up with the zero mark on the ruler. That's where we want to start our measurements. That's our starting point. Now, depending on the ruler that you're using, there may be a small gap between the end of the ruler and zero. So it's important to line up whatever is being measured with zero and measure from there. We don't want the gap to be included in our measurements. So keep that in mind. So for number one, we're lined up with zero and our bar goes all the way over to 10 inches. So this orange bar lands right on a whole inch mark, right on 10 inches. So that's our measurement. For number one, the length of the orange bar is 10 inches. When we measure with a ruler, line up the left end of the object being measured with the zero mark on the ruler. And then take a look at the right end of the object and find the measurement it lines up with on the ruler. Let's move on to number two, where we need to measure the length of the blue bar. The left end of the bar is lined up with the zero mark. So let's see what our measurement is. Well, the right end of the bar falls right in between seven and eight inches. This measurement doesn't fall on a whole inch mark. So what do we do? Well, let's take a look at something. Now here we are zoomed in on the ruler and looking at zero to two inches. We have the zero mark, then one inch, and then two inches. Now let's talk about halves. In between each inch is a tick mark. So right here and right here. These represent half an inch. These marks cut each inch in half, so two equal parts. We can use these tick marks to help us measure lengths that fall in between the whole inches. We have the zero mark right here, and then the tick mark in between zero and one is one half. That's half an inch. So from zero to there, we don't quite have a full inch. Again, that's half an inch. Then we have one inch, and then after one inch, we have a tick mark in between one inch and two inches. That's one and a half inches. So we have one full inch and then a half. So again, one and a half inches. And then two inches. You'll notice that we're counting up by a half along the ruler. So next is two and a half inches, then three inches, then three and a half inches, so on and so forth. When we measure to the nearest half inch, a measurement can be to a whole inch mark or in between to a half inch mark. Now, depending on the ruler you're using, you may have more tick marks in between each inch than just the half inch marks. Those measure other fractions of an inch. For now, we're just focused on halves. So if there are multiple tick marks in between each inch, find the one right in the middle. And typically, it's going to be the longest tick mark in between the whole inches. So the half inch marks should stand out a little bit. With all that being said, let's go back to number two and include the half inch marks. For number two, we now have half inch tick marks in between each inch. And now we know what those represent. So for this blue bar, the measurement is right in between seven inches and eight inches and is right on the half inch mark. So we have seven inches and then a half. Our measurement for number two is seven and a half inches. Let's try some more examples and move on to numbers three and four. Taking a look at number three, we need to measure the length of the red bar. 
Now the left end of the red bar is lined up with the zero mark of the ruler and goes to the half inch tick mark between 11 inches and 12 inches. So we have 11 inches and then a half. Our measurement for number three is 11 and a half inches. Moving on to number four, let's measure the length of the green bar. The left end of the bar is lined up with the zero mark and goes to the half inch mark in between two inches and three inches. So we have two inches and then that half. That gives us a measurement of two and a half inches. Let's try two more examples and move on to numbers five and six. Taking a look at number five, we need to measure the length of the blue bar. We are lined up with the zero mark on the ruler and it looks like our blue bar falls right on a whole inch mark, six inches. So our measurement is six inches. Lastly, let's move on to number six, where we need to measure the length of the yellow bar. We are lined up with the zero mark and our measurement is going to fall right in between eight inches and nine inches. So we have eight whole inches and then a half. That gives us a measurement of eight and a half inches. So there you have it. There's how to measure to the nearest half inch using a ruler. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.